You have entered the plumbing business success zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live on Facebook every week. And now your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. I'm going to make some assumptions here. We're going to talk about the, these three huge mistakes that, that all of us make, all plumbing entrepreneurs make, okay, starting out. And sadly, a lot continue. In fact, the, the numbers tell us, the stats tell us, okay, and, and, and you know, the, these stats are, are more, um, these are more right on than all the COVID death stats that you're seeing, okay, <laughs> all right, uh, but these are right on. 95% of all plumbing businesses fail within the first three years. Okay, that's a sad fact. Okay, 95% of all plumbing businesses fail, not because they're not good plumbers or, or don't serve their customers or don't want to do a good job and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just they don't know the, the business of plumbing. Now, the 5%, okay, that, that survive, and that's exactly just what they're doing. The stats tell us that 97% of those spend the rest of their, their plumbing business life literally surviving week to week. So do you ever feel like, you know, it's like it's one step up, two steps back. Um, You don't really ever see the money going up in the account. Okay. It seems like the harder you work, the less you make. Okay. Um, Basically, uh, you know, you own your job. That's what that's that's what that says. Okay. Instead of having this asset. Okay. And it's because um, you're making, well, a lot of mistakes, but there's three huge mistakes that that I want to cover here. And I'm, I'm also making the assumption here too that um, you want to live what we call the freedom lifestyle. So you're, you're not looking to be in your business every day, okay? You're not, you're not so in love with plumbing, okay? In fact, if you really love plumbing, stop, you know, you know, close up your plumbing business and go be a great plumber for someone else, okay? Do yourself that favor, okay? You'll be a lot more secure. Um, you'll lose uh, uh, a lot less money. <laughs> And in fact, you'll, you'll, you'll make more money for yourself, okay, if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for the freedom lifestyle, okay, um, where you create this plumbing business, okay, that provides the life that you desire for you and your family, okay, um, there's some things you got to know, all right? Yep. And there's some, some things you got to not do, all right? So let me cover three of them here for you right now, mm-hmm. okay, all right? Yeah. Come, what do we have here? What? Yeah, you own your job. And sadly, a lot of us start off that way, Jason. Okay, that's the fact that you realize that, that's a plus right there. Okay, that you realize, um, you know, basically I'm, I'm working, you know, my, my name's on the, you know, on the truck, but it seems like all I'm doing is I'm, you know, I just own my job. It's just a job. Okay, um, but you can do the right things. It doesn't have to be just a job. It can be a gold mine. Okay. Uh, but some things you got to do and some things you got to not do okay so what are what are some of the things okay and i mean, was making my list i was preparing you know just you know what are the huge mistakes and of course you know i, I talk to the plumbers entrepreneurs every day i got you know i deal with my own my private clients and the stuff you know in the, in the academy and all that kind of stuff and so i, I hear about it i made all these mistakes I, just the mistakes that i made in fact i'm very transparent okay in my, my coaching you know i of course can tell you what to do but i have more to tell you what not to do because I've made (laughs) every mistake so I could I just look at myself and I could list out you know a a good good number of these and just just keep on writing but but these are three biggies here okay starting off number one okay number one okay a huge mistake that plumbing entrepreneurs make is serving the wrong customer Serving the wrong customer. What do you mean? How, how could a customer be wrong? Okay. Hey, every customer has a plumbing issue is not your customer. What? Okay. And I know we get started and it's like, we'll take any plumbing work we can get. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I can I, I get opportunity to, to work, you know, work at this new house, do this new construction for free. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I get the, uh, you know, I get the local Dairy Queen, you know, um, grease trap cleaning gig mm-hmm. for free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, okay. And my, and my neighbor's brother's, you know, uncle or whatever uh, for free. <laughs> All right. So it's working for the wrong customer. Okay. And so when we look at when we look at customers, when we look at it a business business perspective. We need to choose the customers that are looking at us for you know price versus value. Okay. If we work for price conscious customers. Ain't never gonna get ahead. 
It ain't never going to get ahead, no matter how many. You know, you, you can't you can't make it up on volume. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, I'll just work for more for free, and I'll make more money. Okay, no. Okay, all right, all right. We need to work for customers that are looking at want value. Okay, want value customers. Also, we want to work for customers that pay us today. Okay, wow. <laughs> today. <laughs> A huge mistake. Guys get wrapped up, and we get all you know, into new construction jobs or the commercial accounts and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're waiting 30, 45, 60 days or more for our money mm -hmm. um, when it runs smoothly. Most of the time we've got to chase it down. Basically, we're acting as the bank at a time when there's no way we could be a bank. We don't, we don't have any money, okay? And so that's a huge mistake, yeah. a huge mistake that uh, first time on, uh, plumbing entrepreneurs make uh, even for years. Sadly, I talk to guys that are, have had a whole career of plumbing and even have been doing their own thing. And they find themselves, you know, my, my age, you know, 55, 60, and they have nothing to show for it. It's because they've worked for the wrong customer, right. all right, their entire career. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 